John Dutton. Gunslinger with an itchy trigger finger? Or just a guy with tremors? I'm just a guy with tremors. I'm a candidate for some extraordinary new surgery in the brain. It uses ultrasounds as opposed to scalpels. Come take this journey with me. I'm gonna try and get the tremors fixed. You are witnessing a man in a struggle, and it's the struggle of my lifetime. I have not one, but two brain diseases, multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's disease. It's a neurological tag team. Although I have handled the MS with relative ease, the Parkinson's is totally kicking my ass. It manifests itself with arm and hand tremors and muscle stiffness, which runs up and down my right side. After the initial diagnosis two years ago, I tried every possible drug regimen there was for Parkinson's. I had zero luck. As my neurologist put it, this is not garden variety Parkinson's. I had a really wonderful childhood. I grew up with three brothers, Dave, Al, and Bob. We had an absolute blast growing up together. Our parents had sharp wits and our dinner table conversations were highly entertaining. You definitely had to bring your A game and put on a flak jacket or you might get leveled. We were all genius pontificators and we weren't shy about letting you know that. I love Las Cruces, New Mexico. Cruces is more of a town than a city, really. It's got a cool Western history and the scenery is absolutely stunning. I felt an instant connection to its friendly, laid back and positive vibe. I feel extremely lucky to call it my home. And it's such a good place to raise up a child. This is my daughter. She is an inspiration and I want to watch her grow up. She's a wonderful ballerina and I want to see her dance for as long as I can. And one day, I want to walk her down the aisle, hopefully without a trembling arm. So I found out this summer there's one thing that guys with Parkinson's can do better than anybody else. Put in a lawn for my mother and I sprinkle grass seed perfectly. So here we go, folks. It's decision time. Slept on it. Uh, I'm all in. Let's do this. Shave my head. I'm ready for focused ultrasound surgery. Uh, the way I see it is the rewards outweigh the risks. Uh, I will do anything to get rid of this tremor. I also have some tremendous inspiration for doing this. Um, 
My brother Bob passed away from a brain tumor and the FUS surgery uh, is non-invasive and can target chemotherapy and right now they're going through clinical trials and if I can do anything in my power just to uh, further that study uh, I'm all in because I miss the guy. Hi I'm Molly Canole and I am the widow of Bob Dutton. That is John's brother who passed away very sadly from a glioblastoma brain tumor. The one thing that struck me most about Bob was his sense of humor and how he kept it all the way towards the end. Well, that's kind of a miracle, I mean, considering all he went through. I mean, how many operations, like, I lost count how many times yes. he was sliced and diced with yeah, and didn't, all these things. Didn't he have a story at the end of his life where my mother was oh, yeah. by his bedside? I mean, this was like two days before he went. It was insane. She. She was, you guys were all coming and he was like, she, she was like, do you know who I am? And he takes a second, he could hardly talk. His thing was, you know, voice box was paralyzed and he said, like, you yelled at me for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he was still there in some way. She yelled at me for 40 years. <laughs> So the one thing that Bob was really good at was skipping rocks. The one thing? <laughs> that was one thing though. Alright, he was good at many things. But he was really good at skipping rocks. He was. So this is for you, Bob. Here we go. Let's do it. So I am now on the ferry boat from Martha's Vineyard. I'm going back to New Mexico to see my daughter. The decision to have the Focus ultrasound has caused some side effects. Um, one of those is that I think I'm going to sell my house. I now want to live some life and focus on my health. Um, it's the only asset I have. I built it when I was 29 years old lot of hard work and love into that. It's time and uh, that's one of the uh, side effects of having the surgery. I, you start to examine your life and what you want to do and I want to take care of my daughter and live life. Hey this is my guy Andy. Back, at, back here getting John once again down at the <laughs> ferry. This is going to be at least 15 times now I'm picking up John to deal with uh, well, I think he really just likes me and he wants to go for the ride <laughs> and I enjoy all his comedy so man I can't get enough the guy's like the funniest guy I've ever driven in my life but he keeps it coming it's the zingers it's the zingers I love <laughs> but I mean this guy's a good guy I can almost call John my friend almost almost <laughs> but I mean um, I don't know how, how, how long you been doing this now Four years. Four he's, years. He's seen me through MS, Parkinson's, brain scans, CAT scans, DAT scans. I mean, when, when the guy tells you that he's going through all this, you're like, okay, is this comedy? I'm not sure where he's going with this. <laughs> but I mean, with all, the, with all those appointments, I've never seen a guy go through so much and still have such a positive attitude. No city is closer to my heart than Boston. I went to college there and instantly fell in love with the place. Between its rich history, its fantastic sports teams, and incredibly colorful people, Boston is my city. It also happens to be a medical mecca for some of the brightest stars in the world of medicine. And that means everything to me right now. Yes.
it's a pleasure to finally meet you. We've Zoomed and we've emailed many times, so it's a pleasure to meet you. Finally, in person a little bit. When did you first notice the tremor? About two and a half, three years ago. And was did it start in the hand? It started with little twitches in the muscles. Uh, probably this the bicep and then trickled down. Okay. Then the tremor started. To, to, to it was just on the right? Yes. You haven't had felt those twitches on the left? No. Okay. okay. And, um, and you've tried a whole bunch of different medicines for this? I've tried five or six different medicines twice. Let's do a couple of things. And you're not on any, any, yeah, so he's, he's very tight in the, in the muscles. So he has, and in fact he has cogwheeling. Uh, uh, open and close your hand, no, this one, a flat fist, flat fist, go, 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 fast as you can, go, 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 okay, try the left, see the difference, okay, all right, now open and close that hand as fast as you can, go, 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 and he's still pretty loose on that side, okay, good. Uh, make a bicycle movement with your left leg, right leg. So slower on the right. Okay, good. And with your feet flat on the floor, with your left foot, just go tap, 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 tap. Right foot. Go slower. Okay, good. And do this for me. Ah, ah. I don't think that's a voice tremor. I think that's just from <laughs> the shaking of the <laughs> Okay. Now raise your arms up in the air. Okay. See how it stops. See how it slows down when he does something. Okay. Just put your arms out like so. Hold it there. So this is a little bit now as he, and then like typical, it starts building up. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to have you do this. Point your fingers like this, but don't touch them. See, so whenever he moves and makes a purposeful movement, it suppresses the tremor. Yes. So this is characteristic of a Parkinsonian tremor. Yes. And you have other Parkinson symptoms: the slowness of movement, the stiffness in the muscles. This yes. is this is you're almost a hemi Parkinsonism. On what side? Uh, sort of a just. It's really only really affecting. The right side of your body. Yeah, that's the way I feel. This is young and vibrant. This is old and decrepit. So here's an important question. Um, given the fact that I have many brain lesions from MS, yep. does this make it much riskier? It makes it riskier. Uh, I don't think this is an MS tremor. I think this is a Parkinsonian tremor. I think you're, you're a twofer, right? You have MS and you've got Parkinson's. So yes, so there's a, a, a probably a, a, a somewhat increased risk of neurologic deficit because you have all these other lesions. Ouch. Yeah. But your balance and everything is pretty good. Yeah. It's possible that you would have either more pronounced side effects or, or more enduring side effects, it's yeah. possible. But... Um, because of the MS? Yeah. Take that risk. Yeah. Well, it's time to roll the dice because this thing is so obnoxious and it would be such a life changer for me if I just got rid of this and minimized it to yeah. any degree. Here's another very important question. My last name is Dutton and my nickname on the golf course is Three Button Dutton. <laughs> And it's because Wait I have a, a thing. Is that good? I have a, no, it's not good. Because <laughs> I have a thing. I have a thing called the yips. When you get a short putt, you get all nervous and yeah. you start shaking. Would this help that? Is this going to help your golf game? Yes. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> ah, then I don't want it. Yeah. That's right. Well, thank you, doctor. Oh, this is very great to meet you because I enjoy your sense of humor. <laughs> you may not. And our, <laughs> you may not say that after the day, yeah, right? Yeah, I'll tell you about two months. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much.
24 right. hours from now, I'm getting my head shaved. Gonna be bald as a cue ball. So when I have some fun, go down swinging. So first look is a 1950s DA called a duck ass. Quack, quack. This one I call the Jack Nicholson. Here's Johnny. All right, this one I'm gonna call the Ronnie Reagan. Well? John, how are you, sir? It's Jefferson White here, Jimmy from Yellowstone. I am reaching out on behalf of me, but much more importantly, on behalf of Dave and Al and everyone down at the ranch, everyone in the bunkhouse to say, I know you've got this surgery coming up and you're having a head shaving party. So it sounds like you're as tough as John Dutton, as tough as Rip. And once you shave your head, you might be just as handsome as Jimmy. <laughs> it's a good look, brother. It's a good look, and I know you're going to rock it. Uh, and I can't wait for this to be over. I'm glad that you're having this procedure. Uh, I can't wait till you're on the other side of it because uh, there's a lot more to look forward to. There's a lot of Yellowstone to look forward to and just everything else. And I just want you to know uh, that your brothers are so, so grateful for you and everything you do. And we're all sending you strength and solidarity and we're all with you together, brother. So I'm rooting for you. Everyone at the ranch is rooting for you. Uh, it's amazing that your name is John Dutton. Uh, I'm sure you get tired of hearing these comparisons, but it sounds like you're a real John Dutton. Uh, and I'm just sending you, uh, sending you strength and solidarity and love. Cheers, man. Making up for the sass I gave her for 20 years. Right there. Good right there. Good. Hey, you look better already. Oh, jeez. That's it. Operation's there off. There's your, there's your, there's your sample. Oh, my God. Okay, Ma. You put down in the sandwich bag and save it. I'm close to Larry from right. the Stooges right now. <laughs> Good job, huh? Where else you want it, Duke? Ah. How dark it is. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Should I put it in your pocket? All right, next. <laughs> Who's up next? Right down to the core. Ah, oh, don't pull so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, he has a fist. Oh. Come on, Dude. Al. Oh. You were my favorite brother. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> save the hair. We're going to glue it back on What's later. <laughs> this is going to be hideous. <laughs> Nice. There Good, we right? Go. Good. Is that bad oh, enough? Yeah. Oh, jeez! <laughs> That's the Stooge guy right there. I look like Dobby having a bad day. It's 3.41 in the morning. I'm bald. I haven't slept a wink. My head is filled with thoughts about tomorrow. Wish me luck. So these are the final hours of my journey, this medical odyssey I've been on. Uh, haven't had anything to eat or drink for 12 hours. That's kind of frightening unto itself. No coffee. Ah! Pulling my hair out. Oh wait, I don't have any hair. That was fun last night. Anyways, we got two hours before surgery and I'm looking forward to this and um, putting all my faith in these good doctors and the technology. I hope this can help other people with Parkinson's as well. Uh, wish me luck. You do my nails too long.
Okay, the next 35, 40 minutes is just you in the scanner okay, and us taking pictures, all right? Okay. You can sort of see uh, that's his head, brains in the center there, but can you can actually see the water inside the helmet. You can see it here too. <laughs> all the stuff above his head, that's all water. You can see it in the face on view. Yeah. That's good. You see that little dot? You see a little dot there, yeah. a tiny one there? Yep. So it's so tilted or weak. images, MRI scans in the coronal axial and sagittal planes, and now we use those images to target. Now we see it in the coronal view, face on, and it does look a little bit So we're going to move it up. tells us is, is how much we have to physically move the helmet to roughly get the helmet uh, at that isocenter. How are you doing John? Good. We're just gonna, I'm just going to make some little movements in the helmet here and then we're going to do your testing, okay? Okay, put your arms up in the air. Good. Point your fingers. Okay, good. Wiggle your fingers. Squeeze. You feel me touch you in here? Yeah. Fingers feel fine? Yeah. On your lips here too? Yeah. Say, Holy Roman Catholic Church. Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Dudley do right. Dudley. Okay. Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Good. See this bottle? Yes. Can you grab it with your right hand? Okay. Pretend you're going to drink it. So this tremor gets quiet when he tries to do something. That's why it's like it's a parking so in tremor. So this is not so important. See that pencil? That pen? Hold it with that hand. I'll hold this and just start to make the spiral. Start in the center and stay in between up here. Stay in between the lines. calculations first okay. and a few alignment shots. Yeah. Got it. Yep. So there you see his head in cross section. The white stuff is the water in the bath and you can actually see some that we're just looking for folds. I think. Yes, I might as well. 
we can't, our ultrasound beams can't go through any. I think I would. Do you agree with that, Nathan? Yes. Last one. So that looks good. Okay, so we exclude those areas because the ultrasonic beams can't get through the plastic web, the plastic membrane. Did okay. You, did you go through the CT? Right yeah, we did that. Okay. okay. So, John, can you hear me okay? We're verifying, validating that the energy, the sound energy that we're going to administer through this helmet is actually going to go where I've asked it to go. And uh, um, so what we're doing is using some very low energy and we're just testing it and we have to test it in the three different planes so we make sure we get it, that it's going to accurately go to where I want it to go. In, in, in the three-dimensional space. We do some baseline and then we continue to acquire those images while we're administering the ultrasound and we can see the heat rise in the voxels uh, that are absorbing the energy. So here's what you're going to see down here on the right. You're going to see uh, uh, the energy come on is the green line. It's boosting up. Now it's going up to full power. And then you'll see a temperature. And you'll see the temperature rise. So it's gone up from 37 and a half to about 44 degrees. And now it's going to, now the energy is stopped. And now it'll taper off. And we'll just keep the same energy. What's it look like on those, Nathan? But Nathan is sort of a genius and he has his own imaging protocol. <laughs> so this looks totally normal. Yeah. Uh, you can... Once again, the green line is the energy coming on, ramping up to full power. Now we look at this temperature rise, nice steady temperature rise, and we're seeing the temperature change image by image, heated up to 46 degrees. Add low? Not really. No. So now that we've verified that the energy is going to be, the ultrasonic energy is going to be going where we want, we go to a therapeutic mode. Treat high. Good. Oh. Almost forgot. the well-recognized chocolate-covered almond effect <laughs> that only works the entire team takes one. <laughs> now this temperature is going to go up higher and can't really see him shaking in there but it should be immediate. If we're we're just going to make a very small lesion at first. See if we're on target. See what effect we have for his tremor. Make sure we don't get any side effects. All right, so now we go test him. See what he looks like. Arms up in the air. Holy Roman Catholic Church. Holy Roman Catholic Church. Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Royal Canadian Mounted Police. I love tapioca pudding. I love tapioca pudding. Wiggle your fingers. Squeeze. Good. You feel me touch you here? Yes. Feels normal? Yeah. Lips? Good. Normal? Point your fingers now. Hold them steady. Sometimes your tremor builds, it takes a little while to build, so we'll just wait on it a bit. Okay, bottle. All right, let 
let you let your arms go down. Grab the bottle. John, here we go again. A little longer, a little stronger this time. Yeah, so the amazing thing is the, the treatment effect is immediate. How are you doing? Just checking in on your fingers. You feel me touch you here? Yes. Here? Yeah. All normal? Yeah. Holy Roman Catholic Church? Holy Roman Catholic Church. Royal Canadian Mounted Police? Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Excellent. Okay, John, this is the last one, all right? Okay, here it comes. Yeah. Okay, we're done. the head thing. I'm shocked. I was hoping for good. Boy, I got great. Everything is phenomenal. Open and close that hand as fast as you can. Go, go, go. And he's as loose as a yeah, goose. Yeah, Okay. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, you know what Sarah calls this operation. Okay. She coined the term. She called it the operation that makes grown men cry. It's a great... <laughs> yeah. Because... You, you, you coined that yourself? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I have one serious... It's a possible setback. I'm not sure. It's, I hope it's not detrimental to my case. A little bit worried I, about it. I sense a joke coming on here. Is this serious? I woke up this morning <laughs> and it looked like this. And I had a burning desire to go surfing and sleep on somebody's couch. <laughs> is this is this part for the course? Well, it's 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 a strange uh, idiosyncratic reaction that we sometimes <laughs> see. Often the color is different. <laughs> Sometimes it's more it's brighter colors. Jeez Louise. Idiot. Look at this. 
Yeah. Like kind of like it. I'm channeling my inner Kale Kalen. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I'm looking for couches around here. Oh right now. my so, God, that is hilarious. So you want me to take that up? I think it's hilarious. Yeah. Here, you try it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I could use something like that. Okay, I'm back at uh, Red Hot Golf Course. I haven't been here in four months, and uh, I'm a new man. I've been given a new life by the people at Brigham and Women's, and uh, I couldn't be more thankful. This is heaven on earth to me. I'm, <laughs> I never use this word giddy, but I'm giddy. I wake up smiling, I go to sleep smiling. It's a new lease on life and I couldn't be more happy. Let this wine come on us Let the smoke carry my heavy load This is one big, scary world We got no place better to go Take me out to 